in here. We got music going. What's going on? This is Via. He just woke up. He just woke up. Hey, you. <laughs> Let's see if we're coming in live, Via. What's going on? I think so. Okay, nice. There we are. Awesome, awesome. Hi, everyone. I gotta mute myself on this. I'm actually gonna take this out. I hope this isn't gonna be too loud. Nice. I hope. I hope that works out. Okay, Via, hold on a second. Let me do a little adjustment for you. There you go. There you go. Get you more comfortable. Gotta get the kitty cats comfortable. <laughs> no, you can't play with these chords. Whoop. Let's set you up nicely. Let's set you up nicely. There we go. Yeah? Yeah. Should have brought a pillow for you. Hi everyone. Hope you're doing well. <laughs> had uh, had some cuddle time come right on my uh, way when I went live. The little kitty cats usually sleep about an hour or more, and then they wake up. Uh, and we got our uh, house uh, complex neighbors. Uh, playing uh, music so you might hear a little bit of boom 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 I've turned down the the decibels on the mic so hopefully it's not gonna be annoying hopefully it'll be okay you getting comfortable yeah you are there you go there you go well then do you prefer to buy individual comic books or do you like trade paperbacks uh, some stuff I'm buying trade X are we doing like monstrous I'm buying the individuals right uh, but I'm reading the trade so I'm trade waiting to read monstrous um, but I'm buying both the trades and the singles yeah stretch and uh, some of the other stuff I buy trades uh, if I'm you know if I can get them on a on a, as a good price and uh, if I want to do a good read, right? As you can tell, right? I have some trades. I have some trades. Hello, my friend. Kenny Roberts, how are you doing? Knights of Old Comic, good evening, good evening. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are doing well. I got Via in my lap, just chilling. Sal's over there, still snoozing. <laughs> and today, today, what is today? Today is February 26, 2021. Kaboom, how are you doing? And we're doing a live stream open discussion on ancient history, origins of humanity. Open discussion. And this came because of a request. And it's a doozy. It's huge. It goes into every, every level, right? And there's a lot of stuff that... Uh, <laughs> Via's seen some food. There's a lot of stuff that some of it is... Uh, hidden history some of it is speculation some of it is uh, uh, just sometimes just facts that people come on jump you're gonna jump that's it sometimes just facts that uh, people refuse to accept right <laughs> saw the words ancient history and i had to join in awesome bubble head boy how are you doing I hope you're doing well and welcome to our live stream uh, if this is your first time here Knights of Old Comic Chicho dude your jam got, mo got moldy it was sad I should have eaten it faster oh you opened it and then you didn't eat it fast enough yeah did you keep it in the fridge you have to keep it in the fridge Knights of Old Comic is that the crab apple jam you have to keep once you crack open the jams you have to keep them in the fridge and because I don't use preservatives, right? My preservative is the cooking and uh, sugar. So, Graham, ahoy, how are you doing? 
It's it's fun day. It's fun day. Fridge. It was in the fridge. Was it the crab apple? Knights of Old Comic? Interesting topic, yeah. Strawberry. Oh, strawberry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, too bad. The strawberry is super delicious, man. Like, when we open up a jar of the strawberry, it's usually gone within three days, three, four days. Fiona says, hi. Hi, Fiona. How are you doing? I got my kitty cat here, or one of our kitty cats here, right? Graham Chicho, considering resigning my job, trying to do something else. Really, Graham? And by the way, gang, Graham is an educator. He's a, he's a teacher. And, um, I won't give the background ground and just, you know, let you do it uh, if you want to do it. Uh, but our education system is pretty messed up and it's hindering those who really want to serve humanity as educators. Um, so there's a lot of conflict, internal conflict for there should be for most educators. Uh, for me, I was lucky. I, I didn't have that internal conflict because I never went the centralized route. I thought about it, but man, I, I know myself. I've worked in centralized institutions before, so I know it wasn't going to work for me. Emily, hey, how are you, Chicho? Doing good, Emily. I hope you're doing well. Below 0.44 uh, degrees. Degree 40 degree Fahrenheit. Four. Oh, so it's negative 4.4, 40 degrees. No, 36 is zero, I think. Kenny Roberts. Twix Extra. Been lurking on the stream for a while now. I absolutely love the content here. Keep doing what you're doing. Ah, okay. Thank you very much, uh, Twist Extra. And thank you for the tier one sub. Appreciate the love. Knights of Old Comics. Chicho, where's the cat? <laughs> right here. He's laying down on my lap. Oops. He's laying down on my lap right there. This is Via. <laughs> He's just chilling. <laughs> he's just chilling he's just chilling there we go we'll frame the our thing correctly Think. <laughs> happy friday everyone happy friday everyone our neighbors are parting it up fun celsius yeah yeah 4.4 celsius negative Brr. Uh, the water exile. Hey, it's 4 a.m. here in the UK, and I'm still on uh, furlough. Nice. Was just about to hit the pillow, but I'll uh, listen in for five minutes. What time is it in Canada? Love the kitty. Uh, thanks. In Canada right now, it's uh, West Coast is 8 p.m. I started at 8, so 8.15 or so. And on... Oh, he's going for it. <laughs> he's like, okay, I chilled it up. So there's this guy he knocked out my little foamy thing on the thing uh, before i think uh, uh it's 8 p.m <laughs> he's back 8 p.m our time and canada is three and a half hours across so 11 30 would be east coast no you can't go in there via no 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 off you go go play with sal there you go i mean yeah go play with sal okay He's very, very compassionate. Very compassionate. 84 degrees Fahrenheit where you are. Nice. I thought I saw a cat. Indeed, Emily. Wow. It was at least. Nice work on Chicho. And she liked uh, your geode. Ah, thanks. It's my partner's geode, but it's our geode, I guess. Uh, and the kitty cats love it. They play there every day, every day. Gang, Speedy Gonzalez. Straight up, thank you for everyone that's supporting this project. I'm going to go through this fast because we're, we're already in. I'm on Patreon. We're live streaming on Twitch. I announce on Parlor, LO Minds, VK Gab, and Twitter. And we do have a Discord page. You can come to our Twitch channel anytime you want. In the chat, type in exclamation mark social. All the links will pop up. Audio will upload to SoundCloud and should be available on Spotify and iTunes. Apologies about the I'm recording on the pal mic, so if there was a scratch, loud scratch, my apologies, gang. And we will be uploading this guaranteed 100% to BitChute and Rumble. And if the conversation takes us places where we won't be able to upload it to SensorTube, then this is the little intro segment that I'm going to pull out. Uh, today is February 26, 2021, and we're having a live stream open discussion on ancient history. 
And uh, if you're only seeing this segment on sensor tube, which is going to be about a minute and a half, it means we talked about stuff that is not allowed to be talked about on sensor tube. So if you want to listen to the full conversation, the links will be in the description of this video and they'll be hosted on BitChute and Rumble. And if this video is hour and a half to two hours long, the conversation uh, is deemed disnified, I guess. I don't know what it is. Yang, welcome. I hope you are doing well. I'm going to take these guys down. Okay. Ancient history. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm here, Tony Wan. Hi, guys. Hello, hello. Regatti. Yay. I'm here early. Right on. The kitty, Vio, went back to play with Sal as well. Salute, everyone. This is uh, pomegranate liqueur. Super delicious. And by the way, gang. If you're here for a short time uh, for tonight, just giving an announcement in about eight hours, eight and a half hours, I'm going to be on Wake the Beast's live stream at 4.30 a.m. Uh, PST in my time. In eight hours, uh, I'm doing a sort of a, they asked me to go on Wake the Beast's uh, Twitch channel and have a little chit chat about whatever right so i'll be there in about eight hours uh to have some fun all right graham i started writing a book and wrote a section on the evolutionary neurobiology of learning so i am ready for a discussion on the origins of human oh nice graham graham by the way listen i'm just this is my two cents since you said you're thinking about quitting if i was you if this is your only source of income or it's 90 percent of source of your income i wouldn't do it yet until you're stabilized you're you're getting more income coming in from other places we might be going into some rough patches economically don't burn your bridges yet my two cents however that doesn't mean you should stop producing work in other platforms like i said my my opinion go under an alias produce work build the content build the audience show people what you can do get the feedback that you need to get both constructive destructive whatever right to really think about what it is that you're going to be sharing and which direction you're going to go because it's going to morph and then you reevaluate your situation with your current employers that's my take i just want to make sure you're not gonna get burnt Okay, man. Uh, Kenny Roberts, you need to keep the food out of the danger zone. Uh, 40 to 140 degrees Fahrenheit, 4.4 to 40 degrees Celsius. Yeah, so that's the danger zone. Yeah, because that's why fridges in general are set at 4 degrees Celsius, right? So 4 degrees Celsius is uh, should be temperature of a fridge. Uh, otherwise, the mold goes. That's too bad. Uh, no. <laughs> um night's of old comic 43 fahrenheit near scotland i don't know what it is here i think it's around five or six uh celsius right now what are your neighbors doing i think they're partying <laughs> hey chichon chat elder god how you doing <laughs> no not elder god eduardo how are you doing i read it wrong uh where's elder god by the way uh sullivan uh, to sullivan victus 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 tad Shoo beast is a jam i love both your streams awesome awesome i didn't know about beast i uh, um yoshi asked me and i was like my reply was sure <laughs> like like i and i checked out his uh his platform and uh, nice and chill guy man uh, nice co nice conversation great asmr voice wow 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 the water exalt pomegranate is the elixir of life salute to that Salute, salute. Astro Sweet. Cheers and welcome to my monitor. <laughs> Thanks for inviting inviting us in. Spectral shot. Love me some ancient history. Greece and Rome uh, specifically. Greece and Rome is cool. Ancient history to me means further than 
Greece and Rome. To me, uh, that's still history to a certain degree. Ancient history, like people talk about the Roman Roman era, the Greek Empire, and stuff like this, uh, the Mongolian. To me, that's history. Ancient history is what we can what we can deduce, what we can speculate, theorize on, based on just um, artifacts, right? I know Roman history and a lot of artifacts, Greek history, but Manu Picchu, the pyramids with the gigantic humongous boulders that are they fit together like this like what the right on top of a mountain ancient history to me to a certain degree means linking it up to present day during the iraq invasion of 2003 one of the first places got that rant that got ransacked was the history museum in baghdad and that's supposed to be the origin of humanity to a certain degree from the Anunnaki, right? So it was speculated upon that a lot of ancient technology was looted by the invading barbarians, right? So to me, that's sort of, uh, I like that kind of, uh, that level. And of course, Roman and Greek for sure. Like, I, I just, we just watched a video, someone linked it up on our Discord page about why the Roman concrete has lasted so long. I forget who it was. Someone linked it up in science, I believe. I, maybe it might have been Emily. Uh, let me know if it was you, Emily. But why Roman concrete is still around today while concrete made like 30 years ago is crumbling. And the way they did it was a mixture of setting the concrete in seawater. And it was very cool. Very cool. Very cool. I like Asian Mesopotamia. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, me too as well. And seriously, Roman and Greek. I read a lot of Roman history through uh, Martin Armstrong's uh, blog. And he's an economist. And he's a coin collector. And he's supposedly a very avid coin collector. Money collector. Economics. Like, phenomenal. If you're not following his blog just i don't i don't subscribe to it i just read the free stuff that comes on he has subscriptions and stuff like this if you want to go deeper but for me uh whatever he's sharing openly is plenty uh plenty of information and one of the topics that he talks about is his coin collection and the coin collection and the history that coins that money tells of humanity and where we like it's phenomenal phenomenal and he's a he specializes in roman history so there's a lot of roman history that i read on there that i had no idea with that stuff was never taught to us right like one of the ancient history of the romanian one that he's been blogging about recently is that um in during i forget which uh, emperor it was during a period during the roman empire the uh the emperor did did not consent uh refuse to have his uh, money with his face on it being used as currency to pay for prostitutes so what they ended up doing was creating an exchange where anybody that wanted to wanted to do business with a prostitute would go change their money into these prostitute tokens so they're exchanging their currency the legal roman tender and the prostitute currency were legit too you would exchange it for a prostitute token and then they would go and buy the service and then the prostitute would come into this exchange and exchange that token for a uh, different type of denomination currency to be able to spend at the food market and buy whatever else right and I'm pretty sure the exchanges took a little cut here, took a little cut there, right? Very cool stuff. Very like they didn't tell us that when I was studying Roman history in high school. <laughs> Where's the prostitute tokens at, right? Do you align yourself with Republican or the uh, Democratic Party? <laughs> oh my God! It Sally Hassan uh, Has Hasnain. Uh, you must be new to this channel. You must be new to this channel, gang. 
don't forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity for more information see wikileaks.org or our julian assange and wikileaks playlist on sensor tube and oh my god it Sal sally has has name i hope that answers your question <laughs> if i'm republican or democrat <laughs> That pretty much eliminates both fields to a certain degree if you want the umbrella of the mainstream corporate propagandas as to what a Democrat is and what a Republican is. Right? The water exile. When you've lived through two centuries, two millennia, and a global plague before the age of 30. <laughs> the water exile. Exciting times, exciting times, and 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 some of the biggest bubbles in human history, right? Ankma, uh, like when the pyramids were built, like when the pyramids were built, and beyond, right? The pyramids are only what fifteen thousand years, ten thousand years. We're talking Graham Hancock, ancient civilizations. Um, I'm talking hundreds of thousands of years, right? Like follow. There's two people that you really lay it on the way it is one is graham hancock and the other one is wade davis right graham hancock is is the master at it he's he's a very good uh uh conveyor on, of information he's a very good educator okay stonehenge stonehenge graham chicho the alias thing is not really working out i'm just so unhappy we can talk about it more later. Okay, Graham, we talk about it, brother. We talk about it. Okay. Astro Suite. Oh, or Go Gobekti Tepe Tepe Tepe. Yeah, that rings a bell, man. Gobekti Tepe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And so much more. Like Atlantis, right? Supposedly, news was coming out that. Uh, Atlantis could be in the mid middle of the Sahara right now. There was an imprint of it like last year or something people were saying, right? Or previous to that. It's interesting that you mentioned the uh, Roman uh, concrete, la, la, la. We had a discussion about that the other day. Nice. Nice. Yeah, the Romans were the gods of concrete. Yeah, crazy. Like right now, we can't even build concrete to, <laughs> to last. Like what? It's insane, right? They actually had someone bring one of those onto the show uh show pawn stars oh nice philly 16 i've been watching you for years and i think it's safe to say chicho is a far right with the <laughs> cheryl's laughing <laughs> hilarious victor stan i learned that in ancient samaria there was a third uh gender recognized on the cult of Inanna, uh, we act like transgender is a modern issue, but it's as old as civilization. Yeah, it's as old as humanity. It's <laughs> like <laughs> Eduardo, meow, Graham, Victus. Are you familiar with the public universal uh, friend? Public universal, I don't know. Victus 10. No, not off the top of my head. Da, da, da. Whoa, Graham, I just Googled. What a story oh i don't know this public universal friend what have we talked uh nazca nazca oh the nazca lines from uh grow grow a forest grow a forest you mean the lines where a lot of the ancient architectures that we've been able to unearth and find are on certain light Li, li, what do they call them lie uh, they don't call them it's there's another word like ley lines or something and snacks i have some uh pan heated it's, it's not fried but it is sort of some very low heat uh not too low but you know lowish low medium with salt and olive oil uh sunflower seeds it's yummy very yummy intrepid how you doing hey chicho hope all is well my friend indeed brother i hope everything is going well with you let's find out how are you doing let's find out asmr how is life brother 
glad you're here talking about Graham Hancock, Chicho. I'd like to do a video on Gobelki Tempe soon. It's a not it's a nine thousand exclamation mark year old megalith site in Turkey. Oh, the Turkey one. That's the one. Okay. Seriously, Graham Hancock has been killing it for years. The guy just lays down truth. Ba -bam, ba -boom, ba -bam, ba -bam. And what a great uh what a great demeanor to him right yeah and oh please do as uh, let's find out as smart as cheryl says oh please do really it'd be fantastic like if i wasn't so immersed because i i went down the rabbit hole of human history um because i had to you know the ancient knowledge because you reach a certain point in our society where you go yeah this what they're telling us is absolutely the 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 the, the most top snowflake of a mountain the size of everest that we are being so-called educated through civilization it through our societies it's nothing and at some point when you reach that point you realize oh my god like half the stuff that are lies uh, a, a huge percentage is just made up crap <laughs> like just garbage <laughs> the other stuff they people people tend to in society say that'll never happen whenever someone says that'll never happen it's always or the one of the greatest one of the greatest sayings that someone says uh, like people who are invested in this kind of system where they think this is the only version of society or civilization or that humanity has only been around for a few thousand years when, when they say it's always been that way it's always been what way it's it's weird right super cool plutorino Plu, plutorino Graham Chicho, the public university friend, was a Quaker in early America who basically faked their own death and claimed to have been reincarnated as a genderless being. Oh, really? Cool, cool, cool. I, I don't think I've uh, I've heard that one before. Cheryl, yeah, ley lines, ley lines. Super cool. Astro sweat ley lines yeah indoctrinated um, with crumbs indoctrinated with crumbs it's crazy right it's crazy where's the kitty cat oh they're laying on the other beds they got so many beds here they got one two three four five different places they they pass out we're spoiling them i'm eating rice pudding and drinking beer nice rice pudding man i haven't had rice pudding for a while face twitch spectral straw describe taste describe taste of these things or the pomegranate liqueur this is like roasted sunflower seeds with uh, salt salted roasted sunflower seeds it's very delicious it's like made for compliment Like really, super good. Grow forest. Ley lines are very interesting, but the Nazca lines are jewel, jodlifts, jodlifts carved into the peruvian landscape only observable from above okay cool a recent japanese research research team just used an ai to scan the area and found over 100 new ones expected to be built from 200 bc to 580 really grow for us if you're on our discord link us up that'd be fantastic man do I think Atlantis was real? Yeah. And I and, and I also 
uh, appreciate and understand that a great flood might have occurred on the earth, right? Like for me, uh, there there's a tendency of people to dismiss a lot of scripture just because it's scripture. But sometimes those scriptures reference real occurrences throughout human history and ancient history and prehistory, right? Because we don't know. We don't know where this information is coming from or why it's being shared in this manner. Maybe it needed to be hidden, right? Like some of the greatest truth tellers in our society right now, and that has been the case for the last hundred years, are comedians, right? Because under the guise of comedy, and it's been longer than that, right? The court jester and uh, even in fiction through Conan and the Barbarian and stuff like this. It's the court jester, the comedian that is really the truth teller, right? And it has to be conveyed in that sense. Maybe this is one version, right? Uh, there's a lot we don't know. Anybody else getting these weird Twitch pop-ups that are interrupting streams telling you to stop using ad blockers all oh, the ro gram they're rolling stuff out youtube is getting the same i whitelisted twitch and it's still hitting me with interruptions gram um youtube has been rolling out uh or sensor tube has been rolling something out as well i'm seeing it even through the analytics from the creator's perspective the it's 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 working differently and even when i go to you know edit something in my own videos i'm seeing little glitches so yeah and ad blocks will come up with something better that we can use uh, reload right is someone having a party yeah neighbors elder god how you doing special shot which ad blocks do you use i use unblock i use ad blocks plus plus i think plus and don't get those interruptions anymore you block okay and there's ghosterly and there's badger there's a lot of apps you can run t for privacy and gang don't forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity for more information see wikileaks.org or our julian assange and the wikileaks playlist on sensor tube face twitch have you seen the eye of the Sahara? Yeah, that's the. Uh, some people say that's the or that's where Atlantis is. I'm convinced it's Atlantis. Yeah, I read some articles on it. Sounds cool. What? Right. Elder God, it's Sal. He invited himself to the neighbors, and now they're tearing it up. <laughs> I love it, Cheryl. Let's find out. I'm doing well, man. Thanks. Um, uh, I just had my first child. You had a new kid. Let's find out as well. Congratulations. A baby girl. Wow, 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 man. Congrats, congrats. I believe you have kids too. No kids for me, man. I'm I'm too selfish to have kids, really. Uh, the responsibility and the and the commitment. Uh, I know what, what it means uh, because I've been around children a lot through family and stuff, and I've taken care of young ones um, when the need uh was there for me to do so i know what it takes and i've had my flavor of it and uh, even though it is absolutely brilliant and i would recommend to everyone um, it's a lot of commitment not to derail the conversation but any quick advice for newborns sleep when you can hope you're well to sleep when you can sleep when you can here's some more advice don't wean them away from you to like don't force the weaning away right some some children need to be um you know there's a lot of people give advice saying oh yeah you you know you have to tell the kids to you know do this uh, keep them away from you but, but uh, you know you shouldn't let them sleep in your bed uh, until the toddler's really old on that front for sure get him independent as soon as possible but make sure you don't um and this is coming from man take it with a grain of salt right uh don't uh kick him out of childhood uh too fast 
I would new. I know it's, it's there isn't really. Uh, that's not the problem with newborns. That's more toddlers and preteens and stuff like this. For newborns, uh, if you want to play a joke, well, no, I can't say that. <laughs> I was gonna say something if we're in private conversation I tell you to do and you would laugh your ass off um, but um, when you're changing diapers for a newborn make sure you're protecting yourself so make sure you have some kind of cloth on you because when you change the diapers of newborns they might be explosions and you might get splattered <laughs> that's one bit of advice <laughs> Uh, twist extra people are so quick to set religious text and scientific tests apart from one another yeah they are they are i i consider them to be texts there's some truth some inaccuracies and put it all together and interpret it right cheryl says congratulations to let's find out asmr how are you all sleeping uh -huh. <laughs> cheryl oh if you have cats keep the cats away from the babies newborns okay cats love warm spots and there has been multiple reported cases throughout history i guess i don't know how long it goes back but uh, where cats will go sleep on a newborn's face because it's warm and unfortunately uh, suffocate the newborn on the more gloomier side all right so cats away from newborns elder god julian assange would have been worshipped in ancient egypt he should be i don't know worship is the right word but regarded as a prophet his prophet definition being someone who is a truth teller and he is a truth teller and he should be celebrated <sighs> period right emily I didn't want kids my whole life, but until last year, it's work. But dang, they are adorable. Yeah, you know, you know who the cutest kids are, who the most adorable kids are. They're other people's kids because you get to play with them, you get to read to them. They give you lots of cuddles and hugs and stuff like. And they talk to you all cute and stuff, but they're when sticky, dirty, sleepy. Uh, <laughs> like all those things whiny crying lashing out you just give them back to the parents i'm done thanks <laughs> just put an ipad in their hands and call it a day oh my god don't do it don't do it let's find out thanks cheryl laugh a lot yeah i'm lacking so much sleep the comic book halls have been uh, uh crucial i uh, i agree about weaning gradually too uh got to keep stability in their life indeed laugh a lot i've learned to have a quick replacement diaper too <laughs> a quick replacement diaper. oops that one got spoiled fast <laughs> hilarious hilarious so i guess we're just talking about humanity right now instead of ancient history but it is what it is right it is what it is Here, here's something that they used to do olden days uh, since we're talking about kids my grandma and mom and stuff told told us this i've seen it happen when i was a kid uh old school style right when children are teething right first first time not losing baby teeth but baby teeth coming out it hurts right they need to grab something and they they go like this with their gums because they have bone teeth puncturing their their um, what do you call it the gums like man that must hurt what um, two things they old school used to do dip your finger in cognac and rub it on the gums and i guess don't give them too much and that soothes the pain the other thing they were doing was giving i don't know how legit this is but be careful hopefully they don't choke uh, they give little kids i don't know if it's taller but i've seen it to really like kids who can't even walk they give them green onions right and the kid holds the green onions and they go and the grainy onions the strands are like this so they're going with the grain right you have to be careful make sure they don't get a chunk and uh 
you know they don't choke on anything so give uh, i've seen this is not advice please do not do this right really please do not do this but i've seen it they give it to him they go and then it's all gr like gooey and spitty and almost falling apart which takes a little bit of time uh, they give him another one onion bath baby baby onion breath <laughs> Let's find out one thing. Uh, moms take tons of pictures of the baby, baby and dad, grandparents, etc. But as a mom and as uh, lamented by many friends, there aren't as many of mom and baby. So if you aren't already, please start the habit of capturing shots of the good, bad, exhausted, ridiculous of your partner and baby girl. Haha, <laughs> great advice, Cheryl. Didn't think about that. Yeah. Where's the mom and baby pictures, man? Salute. Let's find out. Cheers, brother. Congrats on the baby girl. Fun. Fun. Ancient history gang. What else? What else is there? Psychedelics have played a huge role in ancient history, humanity, right? that part is barely ever I, I actually it, it was never taught to us in school let's find out great suggestion cheryl i'll keep that in mind cheers man thank you cheers especially psilocybin especially psilocybin absolutely right as terence mckenna bill hicks we used to say humanity well we, we said we we're going to talk about evolution but we're talking about psychedelics humans if you consider evolution if it was evolution we used to eat uh whatever we could get our hands on right because we weren't on the top of the food chain right so we were foragers we would eat berries and stuff like this and you would get to know which foods of the earth were poison which ones were okay for you and which ones were a little different right and the odds are when we were evolving right we were sampling mushrooms and many of those would have been magic mushrooms or at least a certain percentage would have been psilocybin mushrooms magic mushrooms and there's a huge theory out there and i tend to agree with this by the way i think that's had a huge part to play in humanities if evolving that when we ate the mushrooms that contain psilocybin that's really brought us the visions and got us to look beyond ourselves and into the stars and try to figure out what was going on and that must have had a huge part to play in us reaching this point in time there's no doubt in my mind right there's no doubt in my mind aside from mushrooms and low doses has been proven to improve eyesight right so when hunter gatherers right used to go out hunting uh in the tribes the shaman or they used to go to war the shaman used to brew a little thing and give him this brew right and with the right dosage their eyesight would improve there would be more aware of the surroundings better better able to see in the dark and that improved their ability to survive right for their tribe to survive right. emily cheryl i can confirm laugh a lot i'm an aunt and i love taking photos of babies they're so sweet so sweet and they smell so good right New Ben City, do you believe in the theory that Scandinavian berserkers took magic mushrooms before going into battle? I think not just Scandinavian berserkers, I think many tribes around the world took magic mushrooms and went to war or went hunting or went into the forest to do whatever it is that they were doing, right? There's no doubt in my mind. I live in an area, Pacific Northwest, um, Oregon, Washington, and British Columbia, this area, and possibly parts of the Yukon, Lower Yukon, right? 
is has the highest concentration of magic mushrooms in the world right there's no doubt there's like it's not a theory uh for me this is fact right history education is a joy history at gram history education is a it's 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 almost as pathetic uh as mathematics right the way they teach mathematics let's find out it's more mckenna's theory about psilocybin is convincing at small doses it sharpens vision and increases sexual arousal right yeah and increases sexual arousal there's no doubt about that as well and improves your by the way and this isn't just hearsay me reading this crap this is experimentation years of experimentation on the right doses psilocybin mushrooms improves your hand eye coordination there is absolutely no doubt about it okay no doubt about it new ben city we learn such limited history even on our own cultures here in the uk we learn about three periods amounting to a couple of hundred years we know nothing at all about the history of each other and even ourselves agreed and here's a problem they teach about history and their main focus is history of the country okay humanity has been on this planet for hundreds of thousands of years and we're focused on the time that this land was called this name and they bore the kids to death with legal terms and definitions uh, and basically uh, legal uh, lawyer conversation why really why because they want to maintain the system right they don't want to teach people what possibilities are out there right they would just want to pigeonhole them and say this is the only possibility you have right and then you really learn about human history and realize wow we could be any type of society that we want to be right we're not limited by this that is insane right elder god these days history is made up as a political tool yeah 100 percent. what was that saying uh he who controls the past controls the present and he who controls the present controls the future microdosing with mushrooms microdosing with mushrooms go for us i believe plato and socrates were supposed uh supposed that expected to have tried a natural lsd as death rebirth ritual in ulysses west athens possibly and there are a lot of psychedelics that they could have used this stream is like is like a all you can eat buffet <laughs> oh my god a little bit of this and a little bit of that a little bit of this and a little bit of that and gang don't forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity for more information see wikileaks.org or or Julian Assange WikiLeaks playlist on SensorTube. New Ben City, what are your thoughts on ketamine and the hallucinogenic and out of body effects of K holing? Um, I know some people use it, but ketamine is a pharmaceutical, so pharmaceutical is extremely dangerous. Uh, one of my most respected, uh, loved uh, psychonauts, um, DM Turner, which I've mentioned before many times, uh, DM Turner, unfortunately passed away um for what we know from uh his addiction to ketamine because pharmaceuticals have a tendency to have a huge addictive um uh, possibility probability right so but i know ketamine is a huge part of um, our western culture anyway in terms of uh you know whatever scene you might be in so th th there's th with everything there are, there are benefits and drawbacks and stuff like this but certain things um, are more dangerous or more uh, the the problem with uh, 
dependence becomes a lot more right so you know to each their own to each their own but personally for me uh pharmaceuticals uh are not something that i've ever really been interested in astral sweat i could never think of um violent behavior especially on mushrooms oh yeah you could you could depending on the dosage um maybe you couldn't by the way sorry if i'm saying you could but uh i should say people could right twist extra oh my gosh my niece and nephew came home one time and was asking for help with math homework the school had switched the the, the common core mathematics it is a nightmare and is wrong 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 yeah 100 percent wrong 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 right new ben city ironically the only legal um, major drug alcohol is the only one i've ever found that consistently makes people violent yeah and alcohol's toxicity toxicity is huge Al alcohol is poison alcohol is more addictive than heroin withdrawal from alcohol is so much worse than withdrawal from heroin or cocaine or you know even cannabis uh cannabis can some people have issues not physical but mental right they get it becomes a habit than anything right but alcohol withdrawal can kill you can you can die from alcohol withdrawal right you need medical uh, supervision if you're an alcoholic and you're trying to get off alcohol it can kill you this is not hearsay this is fact right it's way more dangerous than heroin withdrawal that's what our society is right now right drunken street fights cause so much more damage than hallucinogenics ever could in any way hallucinogenics in general is not damage it's information it's progression is evolution it's 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 the opposite of damage it's constructive if uh, by the way this is not recommendation suggestion i like i don't know i don't even know if we're going to load this out to censor tube you guys let me know not to mention domestic abuse etc etc you must be up in newcastle haha <laughs> look at that uh, ch -ch -ch. gang i'm going to skip anything that's not directed towards me until i sort of get to the bottom or close ketamine is also an anesthetic for surgery right yeah it's horse tranquilizer its origin was horse tranquilizer right uh, from what i what i know of it uh new ben city ketamine basically just cuts you off from the outside world and makes you exist and feel completely inside your own mind okay. on the flip side salvia divinorum will completely cut you off from your own mind and for your, from the physical world and 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 that <laughs> the time will eliminate uh night's old comic chicho one time i indulged on the shrooms so much it knocked me out i woke after after who uh who know how long feeling intense well-being i i woke after how long feeling intense well-being for a long time you felt intense well-being i couldn't make out the sentence nice will come i hope it was on the positive side and it can be huge no endorsement of drugs here no endorsement can no endorsement uh astral sweat there is a species of a sea bream that is hallucinogenic the sapara salpa is known as the fish that makes dreams really that's cool how do you know about alcohol withdrawal is worse uh i have people in the nursing community in my circles uh, i have have nurses as friends my partner is a nurse alcohol withdrawal is horrendous horrendous emily 
I cannot wait until weed is legal in Texas. So many of my friends and people I know do it and it helps them tremendously. Like why is alcohol legal but weed isn't? Consumption. Uh, with alcohol, you don't really question authority. With weed, you question everything, right? Um, it's just control. Tommy T, and how do you know it can kill uh, kill you? Stories that I've heard, things that I've read. If you're an alcoholic, if you've been an alcoholic for multiple years, and you want to get off alcohol you need medical attention you need you need to make sure you're monitored your system's whack and if you stay an alcoholic for an extended period of time your livers and kidney i have friends that my age right or one of my best friends that we have spent he's he's, he's a brother right we have spent man i learned how to play pool from him like i can't even explain to you the level like really i can't even explain to you the level right um but the alcohol rots certain organs in your body where you need transplants like really alcohol is the the most the harshest drug on this planet is alcohol end of story I, I don't know any other drug that is harsher than alcohol. Not even Datura. Okay. Not even Angel's Trumpet. Alcohol is the only reason that the destructive force of alcohol is not more prevalent in our society is because our bodies have the ability to heal themselves incredibly well right that's the only reason new ben city no one in the uk especially not major parties are even attempted to get marijuana legalized that is pathetic if that's the case uk is man uk is any anyway, that's politics k holy feels like you are traveling through walls walls and dimensions i've been around people who've been k holing right just walking you got to keep an eye on them a little bit right? twist extra hallucinogenics are so vast in the natural world there are many many plants and animals that contain hallucinogens fish frog trees bees mushrooms flowers and cacti the list is incredibly big and those are all naturally occurring indeed 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 uh, from roots and barks bring two different things together you make dmt you make ayahuasca the active ingredient dmt plus other things right flowers you get opiates that's where flower comes from just it's just everywhere we just legalized we we're here in new jersey a few days ago right on congrats right that is true emily says elder god my name is elder and i'm an alcoholic <laughs> All we got. Cheers, brother. Tommy T. I know someone close that is an alcoholic, so I was wondering. Yeah. The the memory lapses for alcoholics gets more and more. The the drunk. The, the period that they're intoxicated the intensity of it the black blackout becomes shorter and shorter sometimes longer like the the effects of the alcohol are shorter but the blackouts could be longer it's very wacko new ben city huh? people vomit up their stomach lining every night from alcohol never ever seen that from <laughs> uh, yeah yeah emily nice bees psychedelic bees are those the psychedelic bees emily <laughs> fun <laughs> let's find out asmr speaking of the origins of humanity my mind's always blown by the fact that our human ancestors have been making and using fire for about 
three million years i feel that mushrooms may have contributed to the revelations of using tools wielding fire early vocal communication etc just imagine what a breakthrough those would have been yeah i i'm on the same level let's find out it's more right the the before we even thought about fire we dreamt about it right before 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 the first tool that was ever used uh by humans the humans uh they they would have had a psychedelic trip eating a certain type of mushroom or bird or animal or 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 bark or berries and sometimes they would have died from the poisonous because there's a lot of psychedelics a lot of shaman throughout tribal periods have used um certain types of psychedelic tristan uh tristan tristan tristan, tristan 13 how are you doing thank you very much to our twitch prime song but there's a lot of shaman that have lived through different tribes and terrace mckenna talked about this has talked about this um and talked about this where in a certain region there would only be certain types of plants available that uh, were very that had psychedelic uh properties but they were also toxic but for them to experience the the visions the divination to protect the tribe they would have to consume these psychedelics so there was there is certain tribal shaman in different parts of the world where their lifespan was quite short you know they would die by the time they were 35 or 40 or even younger sometimes it was because they were consuming psychedelics that had more poisonous uh, properties than shaman that were consuming magic mushrooms maybe in the pacific northwest right but for sure and bill hicks talked about this too bill hicks talked about this too right he has a little stand-up you know where he does a little routine gang it's phenomenal type bill hicks uh, magic mushrooms or origin of humanity or evolution bill hicks evolution it might pop it up he does this little routine it says we're a monkey sitting in the trees and we go up to the field and we're picking things to eat and you see mushrooms and what would we do we follow um herd creatures around the cows and the herd creatures were pooping and where do mushrooms like growing on the poops of cows and that's pure fertilizer so you go around because you knew there were mushrooms coming up you you pick up a habit with pattern recognition machines you you realize there was a pattern that when the herd creatures came along when there was rain all of a sudden mushrooms would pop up you have a field of mushrooms you could eat right on sustain a whole tribe of evolutionary human humans right in the early stages you go out and eat these mushrooms and some of those would have been psychedelic and all of a sudden fred over there who just ate one of these mushrooms is doing loop the loop standing up tall and talking to aliens right and he picks up a stick and goes oh look and goes and does something to it right I did, you know maybe one of them was started sitting down and grabbed a rock and started playing the bongos ba, 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 and everybody else went oh what is that oh he goes this is music oh what are you doing oh i'm talking oh my god what the hell is talking right that's a crude way of describing what terrence mccann and bill x were describing right is there some drumming outside your house there's a party going on in the neighborhood <laughs> i think it's just music being played our neighbors they like their music loud and we're okay with it right Emily laugh a lot. Huh? They are the most adorable uh, bride bees. Ah, pride bees. Are they? Are they pride bees? Ah, nice. Oh yeah, pride float, pride cute, pride laugh. <laughs> oh fun. Tristan, I'm doing good. Thank you very much. And again, thank you for the Twitch Prime sub, man. I appreciate it. That's Stone Eight Theory. That's Stone Eight Theory. Is that what it's called? Regatti stone ape theory isn't there a theory that the burning bush in exodus is an analogy for moses on hallucinogenics and stuff yeah there's a whole f belief system that uh, the word jesus christ right was um a code name for hallucinogenics specifically mushrooms right really there's a whole do a little research uh just do a little search there's a whole i don't know how legit it is i like it right 
I know at Christmas time when I used to go to dinner with family and stuff where they used to do a little you know do a little prayer thing when I was more confrontational at the period I would say I would say cheers cheers to the magic mushroom right during Christmas time why not right especially when you realize that the whole reindeer thing and the colors of uh, Santa Claus which is red and white which is connected to Amanita mascara which is when the reindeer used to eat these mushrooms and then they go and pee into the uh, in the snow and the their pee would contain would act as a filter to bring out the hallucinogenic properties of an uh, amanita mascara so some of the tribal people shaman shaman there would have a, follow the reindeer or have a herd of reindeers and they would harvest the uh, the pee and then eat that and have their divination journeys and stuff like this it's been a huge part of humanity tripping has been a huge part of humanity since humanity has been in existence right it's only been in the last hundred years where centralized governments have come along and banned it right illegal wait a second humans have been doing it for hundreds of thousands of years. illegal wait what no hundreds of thousands of years we humans have been using these as tools to understand what's going on in the world and that has brought us to this point in time where we're seeing the industrial revolution we're about to give birth to computing look a, a couple of decades from now we're working on it illegal <laughs> what how could you make illegal something that goes naturally in the world that has been around since planet earth had plants growing on it and human beings have been using it since there were little monkey things following little herd animals gathering mushrooms off poop illegal <laughs> what <laughs> wait it's biblical illegal The, the millions tens of hundreds of millions of lives they've destroyed because of illegal yeah guys it's been real but uh, i have to be at the airport in three hours oh three hours twist safe trip brother or sister of course i'll be watching the vod awesome travel well that mag i started flint napping because my, flint flint napping because mushrooms made me have such a huge desire to connect with the past and nature and from there it's caused me to dive head first into old ancient scales cool what's a uh, flint napping i don't know what flint napping is oh my god i'm going to enter the danger zone and say i believe in more than one evolutionary ancestry in the homo sapien tree i think i think there's uh, th there's possibility of multiple right that's one of the things you come across when you read some of the origins of humanity and how our how our society is structured there is things that i've come across and i did the readings for these a long time ago um, before youtube right Be before these technocrats started taking over the internet right uh, horrendous right but th there is uh, and some of it seemed legit to me that there's multiple branches of how certain uh, branches of humanity have evolved right that's the distinctive physical differences between us right and i also believe that if you extrapolate that into the future in the end all of these branches are mixing together and is coming coming into one more anti-fragile branch let's find out yes i really believe uh revelatory idea ideas have their origins uh, origins and dreams and visions that's got to be a huge evolutionary reason for the um, unanimous existence of shaman in all prehistoric societies yeah and let's find out asmr uh, or let's find out i say let's find out let's find out and since we're talking about this the the thing that got me um really exploring salvia divinorum was the dream world that's what really got me um 
diving deep into the realm of salvia because of the dream world and there's there's no doubt there's no doubt i'll share more about that when we do part two of our uh, salvia divinorum chronicles what do i think of aliens aren't we the aliens there's a few different um uh twists there's a few different branches of aliens um belief systems and they all the, the ones i've read they they have their appeal they all have their appeal one of them is that we are the aliens right the other one is that we're uh, the experiments that the aliens started on this planet another one is that the aliens are actually the government of course right the technology the other one is the aliens are the government that found the this alien technology the aliens are no longer around but they're using it and they appear to be aliens the other one is there's real aliens they're already in communication with with certain governments and certain organizations another another belief that i really liked uh, at the time anyway which i think was uh taken it to an, uh, to another level which a lot of people didn't take was uh, that aliens are actually demons right that are trying to corrupt humanity to make them believe that you know da -da 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 -da. so yeah mathematically speaking it'd be impossible for there not to be another species not another there's 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 multiple other intelligent self-aware species out there i have no doubt right i have no doubt have we had contact i don't know from because we don't know our ancient history right a lot of people consider oh all these things that are built in the mountains with the things and the ley lines and all these things and the other uh line you guys talked about they say oh that must be aliens well if we don't know ancient human history how can we just say that's aliens right it could be us that did that but during some kind of catastrophic event and there have been catastrophic events throughout geological time scale that's not an impossibility that is a very much the the norm right the earth's magnetic field has shifted multiple times throughout history and every time it shifts the belief as as a geophysicist i'm telling you that <laughs> i study this crap right the earth is vulnerable to solar radiation right the magnetic field of the earth is the only thing that's allowing well not the only thing but without the earth's magnetic field there would be no life on planet earth period right so earth's magnetic field and that's one of the things that people say that oh there has to be underground uh uh, the hollow earth theory and there there's underground because whenever the earth's magnetic field flips the surface of the earth will be will get irradiated it'll burn right and then people and there's other f theories um on that so the alien thing is just so vast you can go down that rabbit hole for decades for a lifetime some people do new ben city the wisdom that has been lost from our ancestors must be absolutely immense yeah especially when it comes to the natural world yes and i think a lot of it was wiped clean intentionally for example when the conquistadors came over to the americas right for the mayans and the incas and stuff i think only three books survived the conquistadors and the christian uh whatever you call them right the fanatics or western european religion psychopaths really that's the only word for it right they came they burned the books that were here right oh my god they burned the book they burned all that knowledge and how powerful was that knowledge the structures in the united states right that look like mounds of dirt right but then when you do the research you find out oh it's an altar altar that was built like thousands of years ago that during the uh, full moon eclipse or a blue moon the moon 
will shine a light or used to shine a light now it's move right shine a light through a window to an altar right now ancient tribes in the americas had the mathematical knowledge to do this that astrono astronomical knowledge to build these structures right and then people say oh europe european knowledge like just imagine what they burned <laughs> like i can't like words f i don't have words for it really like wow glitanoid maybe the aliens that made us took some mushrooms to chicho yeah <laughs> i hope they did Hell of God, if we are, and that, the Terrence McKenna, uh, the, one of the theories that he came up with, if you were an alien species, and the space is very hostile to life, right, biological life, right. However, mushroom spores can travel through space and not be destroyed. So if you were going to transmit information, you would put them in plant species spores because spores are some of the most uh, resilient uh, things in nature that we know and they survive space they survive the vacuum of space and the radiation of space right you send that through space and they land on planets and you transmit information that's how you communicate with other species right maybe the mushrooms are the aliens right if we all come from apes then why are they're still apes. <laughs> they didn't eat the mushroom. <laughs> you have to eat the mushroom. <laughs> Lights woke up in Chicho. I took too many mushrooms and I passed out. I woke up in an extreme happy. I woke up in extreme happiness. Turns out that's the method and dosage some tribes use in the rituals. Yeah. Heroic doses. Microdosing is fine if you want to do stuff, right? But to give yourself that boost uh, this is not recommendation this is not terrace uh, terrace mckenna read terrace mckenna watch bill hicks uh, definitely did mushroom scientific fact <laughs> emily says <laughs> wait a second i got i got knocked to the bottom oh no the spells okay gang i'm gonna scroll down because uh, if I see anything, uh, the greetings, Dr. P, how are you doing? If I see anything, direct us. Twix, aren't you supposed to go to the airport? Go to the airport, man. The art of using bone or hard stones to uh, nap. Oh, that's what I did. Nap or chip away fragments of a flintstone to make knives, blades, arrowheads, and things of that nature. Ah, oh, cool, cool, cool. Okay, okay. Crack. Evening all. How are you doing, crack? I'm falling asleep here, but wanted to jump inside. Thanks for jumping in, crack. And sweet dreams. Enter the dream world, man. It's important. It's important. I'm scrolling down. Oh, I see dolphins. What are dolphins? Dr. P, dolphins are aliens for sure. Extremely telekinetic, yeah? Dragons, how are you doing? I'm lurking right now, but I love the stream. Ah, awesome, awesome. So, gang, what do you think? Or should we upload this to sensor tube? I don't know. Someone just sent me a message today saying he's getting tired of these notifications for really short videos. And my co first comment was, you're getting notifications from my channel <laughs> from sensor to wow. Uh, I like I, I know notifications have been going out for most a lot of people anyway. And then I came back. I said, oh, you know, you can watch it on uh, you can watch this whole thing on uh, it was a current events one uh whole thing on a bit shooter a bit shooter rumble or listen to it on soundcloud so should we load us on sensor tube i don't know again oh i'm scrolling down i'm going all the way down to the bottom man twix what is your opinion of early civilization and a paranormal uh what's paranormal i don't know what paranormal is early civilizations uh man i think there's been previous civilizations i think there's been multiple previous civilizations i think something catastrophic happens and resets things uh that is the nature <laughs> another idea i think about 
the first great reset was a flag of aha uh -huh. oh my god chicho the apes didn't opt out of the first vaccine <laughs> oh my god oh dude uh i just found that well no i won't share that uh, but yeah look man no one's no one's commented on the sensor dude should we load this on twist i'm going i'm going i'm in the rabbit hole uh -huh. a crack unfortunately my dreams dream world these days is filled with work related stuff oh no crack i hate it when work gets into well I'm not, actually no i hated it when i used to do certain types of work and the work got into my dreams I, I don't mind my work right now online and my teaching and stuff entering my dreams. I I do enjoy it. I solve problems with it. Special shot. The lizard men running YouTube definitely won't be sending out notifications for this one. <laughs> they sent out the notification. So it must have been me. I just I just took a segment. Like for example, our last current events stream that we did not last night but the one previous to that right i took out uh i took out 11 short segments i'm loading three of them on sensor tube or it might be four i can't remember three or four four let's say three uh three i think three anyway and a person commented on one and one of them was the eating one where i'm eating <laughs> cheese crackers and dates and drinking lemon liqueur <laughs> i guess notification went up for that <laughs> funny Toes, thank you very much for the uh, gift and a sub to Madeline. It's their first uh, gift sub in the tag. Right on. <laughs> Funny. Hello, Madeline. How are you doing? Ch Ch Chicho, you have been selected for the medical law. <laughs> the big eyes. No. <laughs> Oh my lord, Madeline says. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Enjoy Madeline Twist Sex. Astro Wet. I am so grateful to have found this knowledgeable and open minded community, Chicho. You do attract some wonderful, awesome, and you guys as well, man. Like, thanks for contributing. Thanks for being here. Thanks for the conversation. Seriously, look, gang. I don't want to say in in the past and go you know get all nostalgic and this stuff right but before the technocrats started censoring before more people started putting their faith in centralized governments and centralized economic system people weren't didn't have such a thin skin where they needed a centralized power to protect their egos or their beliefs okay they had the ability to defend and talk about their their wants their loves and they could laugh at themselves they could laugh at others you could you could grow and learn together and people realized that they didn't necessarily live in a bubble that they could go out of that bubble or they didn't have to stay in that bubble they could go out of that bubble and there was no boogeyman outside the bubble there was just other human beings with different ideas and different experiences right that's what we need right i am fantastic how are you manla says i think we're doing good this it's, it's a great stream and i think ding bobber requested this stream but he's not here so ding bobber salute for recommending the stream <laughs> padre 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 how are you doing hey everybody i have been a, i have a feeling the first round of vaccines being rolled out will be known in the future as the trump vaccines probably infamously so uh i don't think so padre i don't think they're going to be known as that i think uh, uh they're going to be known for other things uh hopefully they won't be known as bringing on the more uh mutated version of the virus that actually wipes out half of humanity right which is 
them planting the seed, we, I don't think they're going to be known as that. In the UK, people calling certain local governments a regime are being investigated by the police for hate speech. Not kidding, yeah. We can't go down politics, gang. Let's not go political. Even though we have gone political, but we've gone political on an ancient human history level, not on current events. We did the current events last night. Nights of Old Comic Chicho. What does your partner say about the vaccine? <laughs> I was like, that's, are we putting COVID behind us? <laughs> <laughs> let's we talked about this last day i uh, look um we don't know and one thing i've learned in my goatee long white goatee and aerodynamic uh lived years okay is if you don't know be very very careful what decisions you're making especially if they are permanent all right so it's like it's like the stories of drunken sailors right drunken sailors are out somewhere in some country they don't even speak the language they don't even know where they are they just got off the boat and they go get drunk and they go get some kind of tattoo on their shoulder or whatever it is they wake up and they realize what the hell was this right but that thing's there permanent right don't get anything injected in your body that you don't know what it is because you are fearful of something that you're not sure what it is uh man i just be careful Spectra shot. Now we just ask for the technocrats to silence the opinions that hurt our feelings. Yeah. Elder God, people have become so pathetic in the last 20 years. <laughs> this is history. This is this is present. We want to talk about ancient history. Twist, twist, are you still here? brute, <laughs> Padre, padre, just throwing a guest out. But yeah, don't know it all. New Ben City is very hard not to talk about po uh, politics right now. Uh, that's the reason why I'm, uh, I, I'm putting together a current events live stream in every set that we do. All right, we have a little outlet there for two hours that you can just let out your heart and soul, man. And I'm actually spending a lot of time, right, taking out these little snippets so we can just take out little sections, right, and loading up a full live stream just to give people the dosage that they need but i can honestly tell you man this is a sound bite keep your eyes on the prize and the eye the eyes on the game has not changed the game has not changed it's the same game as it was 10 years ago 15 years ago 20 years ago 30 years ago 40 it's the same game right oh god the queen says it's your duty <laughs> <laughs> New Ben City. In the UK, you will need. Oh my god, I'm skipping over the vaccine tongue, gang. Astro Sweat. Uh, with respect to. Oh no! I have so many people in my circles who uh, championed organic and demonized any GMO, claiming to never eat any GMO. Yet they hand, uh, huddle together and talk excitedly about getting the GMO vaccine. <laughs> The punchline at the end uh, by the way that's that's in my circles a lot of people who are doing more organic who are uh, that that part of my circle they ain't touching that no way no how the first i sent a message out to someone way before the v talk was even around like in I don't know what it was. I told I told them do not take whatever it is that's coming out. To us, I I usually listen to podcasts or some sort of information or formation of video while going to bed anyway. So might as well stay for the brain flood. <laughs> okay, to us, nights welcome. She show. Do you believe uh, in reincarnation? If so, what era in history do you feel you've lived in before? I I look. 
I, I can honestly tell you, having experimented with entheogens and explored the dream realm and all the stuff, there's no doubt that this is not the end when when this physical body goes. But I can honestly tell you that out of all the possibilities that I've seen, even though I've had a sweet ass ride, hard, like really brutal and serious, enjoyable and all, but man, there's so many other possibilities out there. Why would I come back during an era in human history, which is just the last few thousand years, right? We're talking about ancient history. Humanity has been around for hundreds of thousands of years. We don't even know what previous civilizations were there, right? Or how they lived or anything like this, right? Um, and why would I come back on planet Earth? Uh, if if I believe in the the spiritual, let's say, right? If there is a spiritual, would that spirit be anchored to planet Earth? I doubt it. So if it's not anchored on planet Earth, I love sci-fi. I'm going to go explore Arachnus and eat some warm poop and bend space and time. That's what I'm going to do. If, uh, <laughs> if, if I'm not anchored to planet Earth, right? I, I, want, I want some of that spice. I've tried some of the other spices on planet Earth, but that spice and dune sounds like a doozy, right? Okay, the Roman Empire is the most important society in human history. Um, human history. History. Human history, that's the key, I guess. What we know. Mm, it's pretty damn important. Legendary Rob Boss. Chicho, are you still on the origins of humanity? Or we passed that now? Oh, we can always go back to the origins of humanity. I'll, uh, Legendary Rob Boss. I was trying to get off the V talk. Right? Padre, Padre, sorry about the back talk oh no level out my favorite ancient civilization jeff bezos built the pyramids <laughs> new mississippi reincarnation is real in a way the matter that makes up our bodies will be recycled haha -ha, great way great perspective great perspective great perspective and gang don't forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity for more information see wikileaks.org or uh check out our julian assange and wikileaks playlist on sensor 2. the girls downstairs having a gathering outside they got a little uh, bonfire and lights set out outside so i can explore the universe as a ghost are you are you ghost or are you going to be just energy madeline energy ghost energy i would i would say why not new ben city i will say that rome is probably the most influential society at less at least in the west but not the most important the greeks would differ with you i think the armenian empire was the most important <laughs> I believe the dinosaurs had a society and could speak and had enough technology to understand the asteroid was going to finish them, possibly. That's why they did genetic modification and turned into birds. Right. I think Babylonian and in this uh and in this river valley sieves were most influential. Ba Babylon for sure. And as I mentioned earlier in the stream, there is the possibility, I believe that one of the reasons that Iraq was invaded in 2003 was to look for ancient technology. And that's one of the reasons why uh, there was tremendous amount of looting of ancient Iraqi artifacts. I believe that God created mankind. That's cool. Cheryl, Arrakis, but who's God? G with a cap, God with a capital G. I'm assuming that refers to a deity, legendary Rob Boss. Arrakis would be amazing. Arrakis would be amazing. Let's find out. Chicho, have you seen the Joe Rogan episode with Graham Hancock? He's done a couple, at least two, I believe. I saw one of them. I don't know if I saw the other one. I've seen one with Graham Hancock, Randall uh, uh, Carson. Randall Carson was the chubbier guy, right? I saw one long time ago. 
they made a compelling case for a massive comet comet induced flood 11,000 years ago they think the ancient civilizations of turkey mesopotamia egypt etc were uh, legacies for more for more advanced pre-flood civilized leg oh, leg legacies jesus legacies from more advanced pre-flood civilizations cool 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 yeah i know about the great flood i don't i don't remember i i i i, I believe that there was a flood of some kind was it the mud flood was it the biblical flood was it the flood that graham Hancock is referring to from eleven thousand years ago there has been catastrophes it, it's a given mathematical certainty that it has happened if a giant asteroid hit uh, ontario ontario and quebec in sudbury that's where the mine was the mineral deposits there were because of the giant asteroid that hit the earth right that wasn't a one-off it's been those types of things have occurred right just ask any geologist or geophysicist or earth scientist that's ever read a textbook they'll tell you yes right so he's connected it to eleven thousand years ago great flood and where was the comet let's find out where was the hit was that the one in uh in uh gulf of mexico is that the one he's referring to i forget what the time frame on those would have been knights of okama chicho do you think time is the law that binds humans uh, of our time or humans period uh, no i think time is just a property of matter i think the reason we experience time is because we're occupying a matter we're occupying matter <laughs> period time is uh, a property of matter just like matter experiences gravity it experiences time if we didn't occupy matter we wouldn't experience time if we're just energy that's my understanding of it twist twist one more one more what do you what do you say actually dictates the beginning of humanity ah good question like at what point during the evolutionary process do we gain humanity good question i don't know and is it and the question is are we experiments that aliens conducted on native species here and humanity came to be or are we did we come from are we the aliens that inhabited this planet or are we uh, is our origin uh, a god right is it biblical is it is it is it religious what is the beginning I, I think that's that's really the question right when do we call ourselves human was it was it when we took the first mushroom the first the first the first person that saw that beautiful delicious with a with a blue ring around its head and went oh look at this one it's a special one and they were right it was a special one right my mind is blown madeline says my mind is blown and i've been here for 20 minutes <laughs> doesn't coincide with civilization does it no no i think i think civilization is just a form of humans interacting with each other right civilization i think humanity has been around much 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 longer than civilization right much much longer than civilization civilization is a human construct you can't have the construct does it coincide with so you can't have a construct before the humans or at the same period as the humans the humans had to be or whatever it is that constructing that thing right new ben, new ben city whoops i've messed up the words i meant to say that rome is the most important whilst greece is the most influential ah okay grow forest those who traveled around the mediterranean waterfront found out found enough time to write down stories and fought for the right to tell it the way they wanted nice 
that mug do you think uh, people of ancient times would have dreamt of futuristic ideas such as tech and other advancements yeah yeah 100 percent. we see it in drawings Did, were they were they just drawing what they saw then that means spaceships have been around well, forever right or were they dreaming them yeah yeah can we right now as in our dreams our in imaginations think of technology that has yet to come 100 percent. pick up any science fiction book really pick up philip k dick and read a philip k dick story and you'll find technology in there that's not available right elder god chicho be ready for bible talk from beast <laughs> oh really <laughs> okay <laughs> should i bring my bible down i've read huge chunks of the bible right more and more archaeological digs legendary bob rob boss says digs of hunter gatherers are showing how big of a uh, difference our bodies have changed for the worse compared to their skeletons they had better jaws and teeth with better nasal passages and some scientists think it's because of what and how we are eating yeah are you uh, are we talking about the uh, legendary rob Basta, um when agriculture came to be right when we started eating more grains and stuff and full set of teeth no cavities right grow for us floods are a natural occurrence when you have huge ice shelves glaciers combine that with the sun and you've got a pool of um, uh, melted water wanting to run sometimes it's called uh, it's all at once yeah i think uh, some of the great floods people are referring to is a flood that occurred globally or almost all over. because uh, there's this uh, there's this one thing i read where some of these catastrophes have happened right and there's supposed to be i forget what it is like five safe spots in the world one of them is in uh, switzerland one of them is actually in british columbia in part of the mountain there's one in south america so the great floods really refer to um refer to global events right is gifting five tier one subs to the community wow twist twist extra thank you very much for the subs knights of okami chicho is hard not to believe that ancient egypt pyramids and other ruins are not remnants of lost technology advanced for sure and what and for sure they are for sure they are so who got it who got gifted sub let's check this out thank you very much twist Emily got a gift of sub. Maldegras got a gift of sub. Supreme leader of Twitch got a gift of sub. Fly Thermal got a gift of sub. And Api, Api Daya got a gift of sub. Dude, that's a lot of gifted subs. Are you going to make your airport, man? I thought you were supposed to be falling asleep. Lots of love to you too, brother. Or sister, of course, right? elder god yes beast uses the bible in relevance to today's problems and ethical solutions okay sure that'll be cool why not right twist is a break in the uh, simulation <laughs> you heard it here first folks madeline says <laughs> hilarious legendary rob boss thank you very much for the tier one sub awesome awesome might just stay up at this point twist says i'll be fine okay okay well i hope your plane ride is nice and smooth and if you want it to be short i hope it's short but if it's long i hope you have nice nice chill sleep All right new ben city do you give the theory we are living in a simulation has any credence uh it could but i i don't believe like for me if this is a simulation then I must have chosen to be in this game well not necessarily I mean, if you believe in the matrix maybe on the battery right but if i have chosen to play this game then i'm going to immerse myself in this game i don't want interruptions to think about what's outside the game right if you're a gamer you're playing a game the last thing you want to do is have someone pop their head right in front of your game and go boo right it's like dude like you just ruined my game 
right? I was totally immersed in it. So if it's a simulation, so let it be. The game will end at some point, and then I'll go back to whatever it is, right? Sleep on the plane, sleep on the plane. Twist. I'm just dropping off a friend. Oh, you're just dropping off a friend. I canceled my flight home so I can spend my off time at the beach. Oh, okay. That's that's a good place to spend your off time, man. The beach, oh man, I would love to be at a beach, be able to go to a beach tomorrow. <gasps> oh, dude, dude. We're months away from that here. Good for the soul. And do you go commando? Twist, do you go commando? I, I I've yet to find a place in or in this in where I am right now where I can go commando in Vancouver yeah all the time it's one of the most compelling explanations in my opinion the I think that so this is regarding uh, simulation Emily I think that is very well supposed for what I've read yeah possibly and and I guess we have the ability, hopefully we have the ability to well, we don't there's luck involved in things too, right? Astro Suite. The cycle of soul, our sun does have an approximate eleven thousand five hundred year frequency of increased activity and rest. It would be reasonable for our multiple ice ages, different sea levels, and green glass like layers found deep. In the ice shelves yeah so if everything melted sea level rises 20 meters right not enough for a great flood to sort of wipe ancient civilizations off the face of the earth right because for me as far as I see it like look at look up pyramids off the coast of Cuba in the water there's like a city down there who built that I haven't looked into it too far, but I just know to my question. I'm not really into exploring who, who did that, but there's stuff around like that all over the place. There are civilizations that there must have been civilizations out there that we still haven't found traces of. And if you, we found traces of and then there was technology there, I doubt that those people that found that technology would be readily willing to share it with centralized powers or the citizens of those centralized powers right legendary rob boss says no we aren't in simulation if we are in a simulation then humanity doesn't exist because the ability to love cannot coexist in a simulation oh i disagree that's based on legendary rob boss that's based on the technology we know right now what if there's technology that we're not aware of that gives you that ability to love right could be a simulation inside a simulation inside a simulation <laughs> padre 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 <laughs> just keep rubbing rubbing it in the twist haha <laughs> a gang don't forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital as power to humanity for more information see wikileaks.org or check out our julian assange and wikileaks playlist on sensor 2 gang i'm scrolling down all the way to the bottom I'm scrolling down all the way to the bottom we're almost into two hours go for us yes the cuban underwater pyramids the good stuff the good stuff the good stuff and just the text the books right what was written what was written legendary rob boss but you cannot love without freedom of the will do you have free will in a simulation i don't know the technology in the present gaming that we play right now yeah you pretty much have free will does your avatar have free will no you're guiding the avatar but if we're energy beings occupying this matter then this matter would be our avatar and we're the energy being guiding this matter right i don't know for me all i know is the possibilities are limitless New Ben City, how do you feel about Stonehenge? The technology needed to make that was immense compared to what we believe primitive. Yeah, our the history they tell us about primitive cultures is 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 a lie, is 
BS, right? Primitive European had. The stones were rolled on carts all the way from the mountains of Wales. It always amazes me, amuses me seeing silly illustrations of these cavemen and first fur skins pulling around these giant stones yeah i don't i don't believe that they're they're uncivilized people right that's like they they, they, they were they didn't have any technology or tools or they didn't understand mathematics like one of the things that oh mathematics is a new development no it's not look at ancient ancient structures mathematics was one of the main primary um tools right that ancient civilizations ancient cultures had to build whatever it is they built period right quote it puts the lotion on the skin <laughs> otherwise it gets unlocked <laughs> once again elder god <laughs> a growth froze stone edge is bogus they uh remodeled it in the 1950s did we cover the chinese pyramids oh the chinese pyramids i know a little bit about that or the chechen it it's us clapping sound effect oh i don't know that one i don't think i know that one there was, and by the way for example there's the story of where was it was it in egypt in the, in the middle east okay where the european conquerors came to the middle east and i, I believe it was the british and it, it was in iran it was in iran i believe where they found a bathhouse okay where this the water in the bathhouse was being warmed by a single candle, right? I believe this was in Iran where the British came or maybe it was in Egypt. I can't remember, right? Northern Africa, maybe. It was a single candle that was warming this big, gigantic pool of water, which was a bathhouse. And the British were, or the European conquerors were like, oh, how's this work? Let's take it apart and figure it out, right? It's like the uh, go taking apart the goose that laid the golden egg to make more machines to lay more golden eggs well they took it apart and they couldn't put it back together and they couldn't heat it up again now is it legit i don't know All right but i can see it emily if free will is an illusion then we would feel like it and it wouldn't matter if we do or don't because we can't uh, really distinguish legendary rock boss in a simulation you could have either that's why so either way if we do or don't it won't matter yeah oh my god i hear a group of africans built the stone hedge they came to show the red-haired savages their quality possibly there's lots of uh huge structures in africa like seriously there must be so much they document the, the reconstruction astral sweat perhaps there are remnants of the library of alexandria man yeah that were left after the fire that is being kept in the vatican vaults oh i'm so glad you brought up the vatican vaults what do they have in there what a library must exist what technology what information if if anything that i wish would happen regarding the way our societies govern i want free open access to i want it all digitized all released online free access to everyone so humanity can explore that information f anyone any society any organization any government that takes human knowledge and puts it behind the vault okay they are the enemy of humanity end of story okay they brag about it pictures of the processor cool gang we're gonna call the stream the stones collapsed what out thank you epstein x free assange free assange free assange gang thank you for being here thank you for the conversation twist thank you for the all the gifted subs gang thank you for the tier one subs and twitch prime subs and being here and taking a part in the conversation if you're around six and a half hours from now okay at 4 30 a.m in six and a half hours i'm gonna be on wake the beast twitch channel okay and um 
we're going to talk about whatever he wants to talk about uh, i'm open to it right knights of okami chicho was the vatican looted by the accident no no i don't think so i don't think so that mic thank you very much for the bits amazing stream amazing conversations amazing information and again thank you very much for the stream link the channel oh link the channel yeah uh, hey, elder god do you have the channel link link the channel i gotta find the link let me get, let me grab it Doop. or is this elder god does someone have it wake the beast yeah anybody have the link handy that, 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 that. let me find it let me find it hey where is it uh, that, 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 that. introduction oh, introduction oh my god i gotta go all the way up top i have it on my uh <laughs> <No>. <laughs> i'm assuming so oh there it is oh that's the youtube we don't want the youtube hey where is the thing that's it this oh there it is no that's not it wait a second why is it that one by the time i do this someone else has already found this no one's linked it oh resident rob boss you can't oh there it is someone got it cheryl thank you very much appreciate it i'm having a hard time with it difficult to uh, manage did it take me no it didn't even take me to the right place the one whatever i clicked fun so six and a half hours i'll be there gang so i'm not sure how things are going to go uh, it'll be whatever it is uh okay aside from that gang uh my outro if you want to follow this work on my patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho chycho for those of you that were supporting this work on patreon thank you very much for the support gang if you want to follow this work if you want to support this work aside from twitch you can support this work on Patreon. I don't put anything behind paywalls. Everything's Creative Commons. Share, share, like. And as always, everything's layered on mathematics. Okay, gang. We are live streaming on Twitch. Twitch.tv forward slash Chicho Live. C-H-Y-C-H-O-L-I-V-E. If you want to participate in the chat, uh, what a fantastic chat it is. Twitch is where you want to be at. And gang, again, thank you very much for the support and love here. And mods, thank you for taking care of business i do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on parlor lo minds vk gap and twitter and you can come to our twitch channel anytime you want and type in exclamation mark social in our chat and all the links will pop up here to those platforms including our discord page that we have here and you're welcome to join us on our discord and participate in the discussion and sharing our information and bounce off ideas if you want we have a whole bunch of different folders that people are sharing information we will be uploading the audio of this live stream to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o as a podcast and this podcast should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify and itunes and why not we'll upload this live stream to censor tube and bitchute and rumble and if we have enough points to odyssey Hope to see you on Library TV soon too. Uh, I'll try Odyssey and Li Odyssey and Library are the same, aren't they? Astro Sweat. I try to. I do have a library, but I think it's Odyssey that's hosting the videos, right? I try to get uh, more. Yes, I try to get buy more Odyssey points on Odyssey to upload more videos because it costs Odyssey money to do it, but. When I tried to do that, they wanted my personal information and I'm not cool with that, right? My whole thing with cryptos is I want anonymity, right? I'm not gonna cross the line to provide personal information regarding different things to get at, to get, to be participating in any cryptos, okay? So uh, as we have more points come in, I'm not sure how they come in. I As soon as they want a private information, I just let it ride. Oh, oh then no i agree yeah they wanted like my name and i was like like okay i just want to buy through paypal or just some other way like a gazillion different ways right so it is what it is i didn't dig down any further maybe there's a way to bypass that i couldn't figure it out right uh but we're on those three and as soon you know as we get more points i'll load on odyssey as soon as we can okay first name chicho last name live <laughs> indeed indeed gang if you can make it six and a half hours from now if not uh 
12 hours from now we're doing reading of no 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 we're doing movie discussion this weekend we're t doing a review of movies tomorrow and we're going to pick new movies on sunday we had eight movies to watch if you haven't watched them you better do a marathon because in about 13 hours we're going to start talking about them bye everyone i hope you have a great evening morning afternoon and i'll see you guys soon